Welcome, Welcome back, back to Mountain, Mountain Family Cards. Cards. We are almost off sync there, huh? Yeah. So tonight's episode, we're not going to actually be ripping anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to instead be sharing a little story mm -hmm. about a magnificent young girl that lives in our community. Mm -hmm. So 2020 was a bad, bad year for everyone. It was a really bad year for everyone. Um, and for our community, not only were we dealing with everything else going on in that everybody else was dealing with in 2020, but we had a fire that came through and it destroyed Burned down many houses. Yes, it, it destroyed our entire mountain. Pretty much it, it took out our whole community. And I, I could sit here and talk about the fire but all day long. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about the fire all day long. Instead, this is, I want to share this young girl's story. Because it is, it's overwhelming out of uh, a chaos and loss that she has put joy back into the world the way she has with cards. Uh, so I'll give you a brief, uh, little synopsis of what happened. Our friends lost their home in the fire and their, their daughter loved to collect sports cards. Well, unfortunately they were not able to get her collection out of her home. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, she lost her entire collection. Um, Folks got wind of that after it happened and started drives to donate cards to her. And when I say donate cards to her, I mean C trains full of cards. Like, it, it, all their cards would be able to like fit like three houses. Yeah, it was incredible. The amount yeah. of cards this young girl, the kindness of people, the kindness of people in this world, yes, in in a in a crazy world that we live in. Uh, I mean, I don't have to explain this world to you guys. You guys know, but it is so good to see the kindness in people. And yeah. not only that, what this young girl did from it is she wanted to give away those cards give those away to children that are in hospitals to children that um just want a a football card a baseball card um she has a website to contact her and before i go in any further i'm gonna let this video explain it a lot okay so here we go <laughs> Or I should say cards. Yeah. Pardon me, but I have a lot of cards there. <laughs> yep. You're so funny. Never left a fear right of striking out to you from playing the game. The fire came, but we thought we would be back in like three days. So we just packed a little bit of clothes. Luckily, I packed my baseball mitt. The scariest part was probably like one inch ashes falling. She had about a hundred or so cards and her and her sister would spread out baseball cards in front of the TV when they watched baseball games. So if the Yankees were playing, they'd pull out their Yankee cards and put them in places where the positions were. We started receiving baseball cards from places we didn't even know existed. at the fire station so the guy said uh here's a different fire engine and it was a whole thing of baseball cards surprise what do we have here there's just a few baseball cards here i can see so i had the idea I, I'm, I'm gonna keep a few but i had the idea just to share them really and Spread the love of baseball. We got 
bends and stuff and put like 1980 cards in there, brand new cards, some good tops, anything really good or old or something like that. When I was in the hospital once, people gave me things that made me happy, so I want to return the favor and make them happy. With the Creek Fire has come a lot of pain, but for our family, we realize that God has a bigger plan for us. And in that, we think this is part of it. She just wants to share the love. And I think this is kind of our only way that we know how right now, because we don't really have anything else to give anyone. And so us being able to give some kindness is pretty amazing. Clayton, if you decide that you like them and you want more, we can definitely send you some more, buddy, okay? Jimmy. Yeah, we can send you some more. We'll have a good time looking through everything. It has to be me. <laughs> Especially you. Good. I love it. Thank you very much, Reese. You are so welcome. So wasn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Like what she is able yeah. to do through her tragedy. Mm -hmm. How do you... Even though she lost her entire collection, she actually, even though she's getting all those cards, she doesn't want to just keep them all. She wants, she to... wants to put it out in the world. Yeah, she wants to give the that joy back into the world. Yes. And so I wanted to share her story with you guys. And not only share the story, but um, so her mom, I, I was recently talking to her mom, uh, to Reese's mom. And she said... Uh, um, it's it's a good problem to have that they do have a problem, but it's a good problem to have. Um, the kindness of people are donating so many cards, and they are donating, you know, single cards. They're they're giving her out some single cards, um, which is good. And then she's able to donate these cards back to other children. However, the kids that are in hospitals in the ICUs uh or in the in the not only the ICUs but in in, in 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 situations in the hospital that they can't have certain germs around them they have uh immune deficiencies and whatnot the the hospitals are not allowing single cards yeah. to come in now what they will allow is you know like a a bland, a brand new sealed blaster box they will allow that for the children. They will allow sealed packs of cards, unopened packs of cards. That um, doesn't make sense. It, it's just their way, buddy. It's it's the hospital. Um, they're the ones that make the rules, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, but and it's also for germs. Mm, yeah. Um, there's really no way you can't really take this. Uh, oh. You can't really take this card and wash it down and clean it with bleach or anything. You know what yeah, I mean? Or it would ruin it. Exactly. So yeah, they are. Um, that they're they're kind of having a rough time getting that kind of product in. Um, so you can, you know, I'm not saying you have to, but if you know of anyone or yourself, you can donate something. I will be posting a link of their website down below. Um, if you need to know more information, do not hesitate to email me. I'll post my email down in the description below as well. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share her story, uh, with y'all, you know, since we're in the card community now, this is, I, I figured I would take this opportunity to let everybody know of this young girl's story. And how we really found out is because of my teacher. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, so Reese's mom is actually a trans teacher at our mm -hmm. school. Um, so, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what we got here tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, Trent, anything you want to add? No. No. You really said it all. I really said it all. So yeah, we wanted to give uh, Reese's um, Reese's story out there and. Mm -hmm. Maybe hopefully you guys will know somebody or you yourself can donate something for these uh, for these children. And not only for the children, uh, just for the cause of everything. And you never know who this product can go to. It could just go to anybody that wants a card that would put a smile on their face. You know, that's why 
we do a lot of what we do. We like putting mm -hmm. smiles on people's faces. But anyways, until next time, peace, peace out. out, guys.